G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video I'm going to talk about my history with Delphi which has been quite long. Uh, I've been using Delphi since uh, version 3, so about since about 1999, maybe 98. So we take a little bit of journey uh, both in time and distance. So we'll go for a little bit of a walk as I, as I talk. Let's get my gum bits on. And a hat, it's still quite sunny out. And as I said, I've uh, originally started using Delphi 3, but uh, I was familiar with Pascal prior to that because I did a, a degree in mathematics and computer science. And in my first year, they taught Pascal as a programming language for doing the data structures and algorithms and, and stuff like that. And it was, I think, Pascal on oh, I think they LC2s, maybe no. So Mac Classics was the sort of first machines we used. They had two floppy drives, and you had a, a boot disk and a Pascal disk, which had Think Pascal on it. And it was, um, yeah, <laughs> I think at the time I had a 486 at home, so uh, they were uh, quite antiquated even back then. I think we migrated to LC2s, which had grayscale, grayscale screens rather than black and white. Uh, possibly even color, maybe. I can't remember. But... Um, yeah, they had hard drives, they had 10 megabyte hard drives in them, so uh, that meant that you didn't have, need, a, need a boot disk, which is uh, a bit more convenient. So, so in, in pre even prior to that, I did, uh, played with Turbo Pascal 5.5, which, uh, that was my very first uh, version of Pascal that I did anything with. Let's um, uh, see what we've got here. Maybe grab that one. So, um, I've so my history with with Pascal goes back to I think probably when I was about fifteen years old with uh, to Pascal five point five. Uh, and back then I I never really programmed anything sophisticated. Um, you know, made some lines dance around on the screen and. Uh, some little little useful uh, programs that didn't do very much, but uh, I wasn't particularly. Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed getting into programming and using sort of the computer and that kind of stuff, but uh, I didn't ever really, really write anything sophisticated. I had friends that did stuff uh, with more sophistication. Uh, I remember kind of writing some game code and stuff, and some stuff to generate fractals and and things like that. So. Uh, and that's going back a very long time, back to school. Uh, yeah, and, the, and my programming... So I think originally I would have been programming on a 286, and at some point I, I, I think I went from an 8MHz 286 to a 16MHz 286 to a uh, 486DX225. And uh, that probably would have been... That's uh, probably, probably prior to me using Delphi. I can't remember the, the first computer... I used Delphi with, but the, I remember um, when I, my first job, we were, I was working on uh, Pentium 100s or something like that, Pentium 60 type machines with, you know, 14 inch monitors and that kind of thing. So they're very, very ancient equipment by today's standards. I have a, I have a friend who's into collecting uh, old computer gear, but uh, he'd probably be not interested in that, those, those type, the, the, the computer he'd be interested in, but he'd probably want to get like a, you know, 21 inch Trinitron monitor or something like that to go with it. Not, not these little horrible 14 inch monitors that did 800 by 600 uh, on a good day. Uh, they might do 1024 by 768, but on a 14 inch monitor that's pretty small. Uh, so I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, but uh, in, in, yeah, in my first job doing real estate software uh, in Delphi, um, most of the clients had uh, 486s and things like that, so performance was a bit of an issue. The a uh, yeah, and even like having a CD-ROM drive and things like that was not necessarily uh, a given. And access to the internet was dictated by uh, sort of modems. So you might might have a 56k modem at best. Uh, back in the day, I don't think New Zealand was particularly advanced with um, sort of internet originally, but um, these days we're pretty good. I, I have so. As you can see, I live on a lifestyle block, uh, but I have a, 
uh, generally referred to a, a, as a roadside cabinet. Uh, it's sort of a, a box just on the edge of our property, uh, which I can get VDSL from. Uh, and that I get about 100 megabit, uh, which is kind of pushing the limits of of what VDSL is capable of. So uh, quite fortunate in that respect uh, in, in where I live. But so in the... Um, so yeah, definitely three. I, that was my first programming job. I was certainly not particularly good at programming in those days, and I was sort of working in isolation. I, you know, I purchased books and what have you. But to buy a book, like a, a Delphi book, a book on say Delphi three or Delphi five, you go into a, a bookstore and it might cost you as much as one hundred fifty dollars New Zealand. Uh, it was it was quite a lot of money to um, buy a book. So that's a book that would be maybe. Uh, $40 US, which maybe, maybe in a direct translation might be $60, $60, $70 New Zealand. So, um, and that, back then, that's a lot of money. Uh, you know, uh, I wasn't earning anywhere near what I was. Uh, well, I'm kind of, at the moment, I'm uh, pretty much retired. Um, but unfortunately, that's not necessarily through my Delphi uh, programming, but uh, more my real estate investment, my, my and my wife's uh, real estate investment. We've been investing in real estate uh, our philosophy of it has been to put as much money as we can into buying buying properties to rent out and then um, yeah those those properties have uh, uh, increased in value over the years and we've been doing that for uh, uh, I think I bought my first property in 2002 or 2001 something like that but anyway um, so the pretty much what I've earned from uh, Program Delphi I have uh, converted into real estate for the most part uh, and pretty much now that real estate uh, has meant that um, I'm not really having to work all that much. Um, still, still do need to earn a little bit of money, but uh, there's there's no desperate need for it, which is, is quite nice. Uh, take a um, a really sort of relaxed approach to to having to work, uh, which I've quite enjoyed. Uh, it's been quite good. I, there is, <laughs> as you can imagine, imagine I, I lost a lot of work to do on the farm. Um, building building things and repairing things and looking after animals and that kind of thing uh, and I haven't really been doing the um, sort of my, my duties as a, as a uh, MVP that I should have been doing but anyway I'm making an effort with this video so carrying on uphill um, I think Probably at about Delphi 7 was when I really started understanding programming a lot better and actually writing reasonable code and going from the sort of programming in that through experimentation like you change it a bit, does it work? Change it a little bit more, does it work? Change it again, oh it worked, okay it must be right. Um, that's that's not, not how to code. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think from, from about Delphi 7 onwards I, I was writing more intentional code uh, and understanding what I wrote a lot better and I was probably uh, going on about 2013 I started making videos for LearnDelphi.tv and there's been I get some interesting comments on YouTube occasionally from, the, from my early videos saying complaining about the resolution uh, but this is back when um, 320 by 200 or 240 320 by 240 was the maximum resolution that YouTube allowed and they only allowed I think initially 5 minutes and then later 10 minutes of content so the basically are taking a, a, a screen recording of 800 by 600 and then squashing it down to 320 by 240 and putting it on YouTube and um, yeah people who complaining about these videos they couldn't appreciate uh, back in the day the uh, the difference in bandwidth and computational power and stuff like that that we now have available to us and that you can watch a video like this I'm recording it in 4k I probably won't upload it in, upload it in 4k that would be ridiculous but it's well beyond anything uh, that I had um, any access to originally in my in making uh, videos on uh, how to use Delphi and some of those early ones are pretty basic the first, first video I made I think was uh, on how to, how to do application icons in GIMP 
uh, and I've done uh, various other videos, uh, 150 videos or something like that now, over the years, so from 2013 uh, to, to now, so that's seven, seven years worth of uh, making content. And I quite, quite enjoy making videos, but it's hard, hard to make time for it, and I kind of feel there's a bit more expectation on um, the, the level of quality I need to produce. Um, like originally I would just, my original videos I worked quite hard at, um, and because I didn't know what I was doing and it took a lot of time to, to do stuff and and rendering video took a lot, lot longer than it does it does these days but uh, and then I went through I've gone went through a bit of a phase of just making stuff and putting it online uh, and then there's you know as I get you know into the hundreds of thousands of views and now millions of views um, it is I sense a little bit more pressure on on the, the quality and also I sell videos and I work quite hard on the, the, the content for those videos and the, um, I do a lot of editing on them um, and so the what am I trying to say uh, I haven't been making as many videos these days because I feel um, that I need to make better quality videos than I've got time for which is okay excuse me now So this is a first, first ripe plum. It's not quite ripe, but it's pretty close from that plum tree uh, I've had this year. Um, it's been pretty good, mate. I've um, made a few batches of wine from it uh, in previous years. Uh, but that's uh, uh, all pretty good. But that's, that's not a bad plum. It's um, Hawara. So it's a, a New Zealand plum. It's quite, it's a little, little bit sour this one, but uh, still quite a bit of sweetness to it. So onward and upward. Yeah. Shall I take the seed and throw it? Maybe it'll uh, grow a plum tree. Although it's highly unlikely because the cows will eat anything that, uh, that anything, anything that tasty like a plum tree. We, um, one of our cows. Uh, in fact, there was a cow named Delphi. Got into our orchard one year and ate pretty much everything. Uh, well before it was ripe. Uh, Delphi is now in the freezer, and Delphi tastes delicious, by the way. Uh, you've got another another cow that's uh, what well, steer that's uh, due to go on an Arctic holiday in the next few months. Uh, I am digressing somewhat uh, terribly. So my history with Delphi. So I think we were talking about. Delphi 7, I can't remember what year that came out. I think just after that there was Delphi, Delphi 8, which we won't mention. Delphi 2005, that wasn't particularly good either. Delphi 2006 was better, but not still not stable. Delphi 2007 was kind of the, the next release after Delphi 7 that was really good and really stable. And I used that for a long time. And I think I probably went from Delphi 2007... I, may have, I would have had the sort of interim versions, but I, I don't think I used them too much. Uh, and certainly I remember I've used Delphi XE2 a lot and currently I'm doing a lot of development in Berlin uh, in the, the real estate uh, software uh, mostly, mostly because um, migration of components it uses a lot of components and uh, upgrading them all to pain A, it's expensive for the company I work for which is um, sort of on a tight budget and be it takes a really long time sometimes to get everything to, to, to play nice together, particularly when you've got um, components. The Delphi component system is really, really fantastic, but you get tend to you know get um, a, a charting component and that needs to work with a reporting component, and getting those things to compile and you get um, you know weird errors like this this compiled with a different version of a particular DCU or something like that, and you're trying to work out um, you know the various paths and things like that. And it's all, all, all good fun and games. Uh, so, so carry on. Uh, um, I, I think, from about Delphi, Delphi two thousand seven onwards, I, I've, I've felt that each version of Delphi has gotten better and better. Um, the stability has improved. The, uh, the. I think it's kind of the usability of it. The IDE has been getting better. I, th I think it's still. Um, a lot of the so like refactoring tools and things like that still well behind uh, tools like Eclipse uh, and IntelliJ and, and things like that which I've, I've used a little bit uh, I did some Android development 
uh, in in Java in Eclipse. Uh, it's quite a few years ago now, and I have to say that experience was not fun. Um, it was hard work uh, compared to writing stuff in Delphi. I, I think um, writing stuff in uh, FireMonkey uh, is is pretty fantastic. You can pretty much cross compile stuff with Windows and Android. Uh, compiling on Android takes takes forever, and deploying it. Um, whereas Windows, it's, it's pretty much on a modern machine. It's pretty much instantaneous um, uh, for anything any, anything that's that's under a hundred thousand lines of lo- lines of code. It, it's just going to compile in no time. Uh, you know, something with millions of lines of code. It's still going to take a while to compile, but it's you're probably better off in Delphi than you are in C, where uh, determining dependencies is a lot harder. But anyway, digressing as well. Um, I think the one of the reasons I love Delphi is it just makes everything easy. Uh, I mean, it's certainly uh, can do a wide variety of of, of things. Uh, it's not not the best tool for uh, you know when you. You know, when you're a hammer, everything's a nail, so to speak, or a thumb, depending on uh, <laughs> your, your abilities. But um, yeah, I, I use Delphi for, for most of my programming tasks these days. I, I should learn some more languages. But um, I haven't really had a huge amount of need for it. Uh, almost at the top. Top is in, within sight. So, so the more recent versions of Delphi, such as uh, such as you know Berlin, Seattle, uh, Tokyo, and now Rio. Um, so the latest release at this time for me is ten point three point three. I suppose ten point four might be coming out sometime soon. But I've I have been a bit distracted lately. I've I've got a had a, 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 a my wife and I have had our first child. Uh, we've been trying for a long time, and uh, that is basically now my complete focus. Just about uh, <laughs> uh, uh, keeping legacy alive is uh, <laughs> kind of an important task. So, I'm hoping to get back into making uh, movies again uh, very shortly. Hopefully, this will be the first of of many. Um, uh, but yeah, I have been distracted. I apologise. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, it's hard work, hard work working uphill in this heat. There's a, a bit of a breeze up here, fortunate, fortunately. Otherwise, I think I would be uh, uh, well, sweating more than I am anyway. So, um, I'm pretty impressed with how how Delphi has uh, been improving. I'm, certainly, I was a little bit concerned when Idera uh, made their acquisition of Embarcadero, and uh, there were some staffing decisions that I'm I probably still don't totally agree with. But uh, everything seems to be uh, running pretty good. Um, and we've reached the, uh, well, I'd say the top of the property, but uh, technically speaking, uh, up there is the top. Uh, and I'm not going through there because it's, oh, it's a bit of basically a bushwalk for the most part, and it's uh, none too easy. So uh, behind me, uh, so probably the primary reason I love Delphi is that uh, it's you know afforded me um, this this uh, which is I'd say pretty good you know my, I, certainly my my wife has contributed probably more than I have in many respects to <laughs> um, to, to this but um, certainly my my knowledge of, of Delphi has uh, helped quite a lot. Um, I should probably uh, summarise. I, I apologise. There's been kind of a, a random uh, discussion of of my history with Delphi. In um, uh, recent years, I've done so. I think so. Originally, I was quite concerned that I worked for the small company and I didn't really have any co-workers I could learn from, and I was pretty much by myself. And I thought that. I didn't really know what I was doing, or this opportunity, my my opportunity for lear, for learning were quite limited. But from uh, working in various larger organisations with huge bureaucracies and what have you, uh, I sort of realised that I, I did pretty well by myself. Um, I think you know, there's there's so much learning, so much learning, learning material out there these days. I mean, certainly you know my videos and what have you 
uh, I hope people have found useful and um, improved their Delphi skills. Uh, certainly in, in making the videos I've, I've learned heaps. Uh, it's always a, a good exercise. Uh, I think this kind of uh, teaching is, is kind of the most powerful form of learning uh, that, that there is. Um, I think, yeah, there's, there's, there's so much sort of uh, Delphi material. In fact, it's in this way because our house, my house is somewhere down there. If I point that one there. Um, so the neighbours are over there somewhere. And uh, yeah, and there's a, a motorway that runs along there. And somewhere out that way is this the sea. You can, um, you might be able to see it from the top. I'm not sure if you can see it from here. Uh, certainly not, not on a day like today. It's a bit, a bit uh, hazy. It's been a bit. I think there's a, been a bit of wind, and that's kind of stirred up a bit of dust. Uh, and I'm I'm very much digressing again. So back on to the uh, <laughs> the topic of at hand of Delphi. Uh, I apologise for this farming farming. Uh, digressions and and what have you but it's now kind of a, a large part of my life uh, <laughs> so I think if and I'm, I'm certainly wanting to do do more learn more uh, over over the next few years um, there's there's so much more in Delphi that um, I mean back in Delphi 3 you could pretty much learn all of it there's the I, I think um, even up to possibly Delphi 7 your, your ability to, to to know all of it now uh, it's so big that you can only relearn a, a, a fraction of it. Unless, unless all you did was do stuff learning Delphi, you, you'd probably uh, you'd probably never keep up with the uh, the changes to it. And that's certainly what I've found over the years. Uh, I've I've not even touch, touched Brad Server. I've been over the last few years. I've I've certainly been getting into FireDAC. Um, it is it is fantastic. I, I did a large conversion from a BDE application, the real estate application to, to FIDAC and that went it, it took it, it, it took a long time um, I mean there's hundreds of tables and thousands of forms, uh, well hundreds hundreds of forms probably um, that needed to be converted uh, data modules and it was, it was quite substantial I did it all with scripts and, and what have you uh, lots of um Basically, I worked on the BDE version and then and worked on the scripts to convert from BDE to FireDAC until uh, the scripts worked well enough. I, I didn't want to double maintain applications. I was still, still maintaining the BDE version because there are a few customers still still running it, unfortunately. But um, for the most part, the FireDAC version is great. It runs on a sort of desktop using SQLite by default. Uh, if you're networking, you can run it on SQL Server. Um, Firebird, um, MySQL, or MariaDB, um, possibly others. I, th I think even, even had a bit of play testing it with Postgres. Um, uh, SQL compatibility is not as good as it should be. I think There's, yeah, every every platform seems to do something different with um, string, uh, string concatenation and, and what have you. But um, and and certainly um, there, there are standard functions in, in FireDAC that that make abstract uh, that kind of stuff sort of macros uh, that you can put in your SQL which uh, abstract out the differences between the uh, the dialects of SQL um, and I should probably I should probably summarize it I'm, I, I'm, I'm not very good at keeping on topic um, yeah certainly over the, over the last few years I've, I've been doing uh, some training with with various clients and that's been been good fun um, it's amazing I've, I'll be publishing some books shortly. I've got two in the works. Um, Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi. So the first book is mostly finished. Um, I've been distracted lately, uh, as I've explained. Um, and so it's about... They're going to be short books uh, and focused on specific topics. Um, so about 184 pages. They'll probably be a couple hundred pages once all the formatting. Because uh, I've, I've set the margins pretty pretty small um, at the moment and uh, font is, is probably pretty small so yeah that will probably end up being 150 200 pages something like that I'm not actually sure um, and yeah so the the, the first one uh, code faster in Delphi is all about productivity and how how to 
actually get your code written faster. Uh, and the second book is on um, writing better code. Because uh, if you... Uh, was it... Um, train a... You know, motivate a stupid person and you just get uh, stupid decisions faster. That's kind of the thing. So um, I'm hoping that uh, certainly the, the, the first book... Uh, I, th I think it, it's a topic no one's really covered as yet uh, on... There's, it's always... Um, things like uh, memory management and uh, actual performance of code uh, rather than actually getting code down faster and making use of, of various tools and things like that to, uh, to simplify your life uh, and make, make uh, writing code easier. Um, but I'll hopefully, uh, I'll hopefully uh, start getting people to uh, read through it and start, I'll start doing a, a final draft shortly and yeah. But I digress. Um, so let's uh, let's finish up here. Uh, that's kind of my history with Delphi. Um, I'm pretty pretty happy with Delphi uh, over the, over the years. Um, there've been some releases that haven't been uh, all that good, but um, all the all the ones for the, I don't know, the last decade or so have been uh, steadily improving. Um, and there's certainly a lot of stuff I'd like to see uh, improved in Delphi, but. Um, I think I think it's uh, all heading in the right direction at the moment. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, future versions of Delphi in the near future. Um, but as I say, I'm not actually doing a lot of coding at the moment. Uh, I, am, I am working one day a week uh, and um, spending the I don't know, the other six days just uh, uh, being a dad and uh, being a farmer. So uh, I, hope, I hope you find have found this uh, <laughs> this, this rant, r ramble, uh, this rambling discussion of random topics uh, interesting, um, and you get a feel of of my my relationship to Delphi, which is, has been pretty good over the years. Uh, I've, I've written a lot of stuff. I'm I'm intending to get some stuff released to the Android store, which I've been procrastinating on for months and months. I've got about three or four applications that, that are almost finished but not really quite polished enough to release um, and I just yeah the, I think I think the fun part is is the first 90% not the, the, the second 90% of the writing of the code <laughs> so that yeah so the uh, uh, that remaining percent of the time so <laughs> uh, typically that's not always, always not always the fun part but um, hopefully I will uh, get those released and make some videos on that kind of thing um, so hopefully uh, keep, keep an eye on my YouTube channel um, you can, uh, check out my website learndelphi.tv uh, check out my videos also on Embarcadero Academy um, and uh, I, I hope some of my sort of my, sort of my the free, free content on YouTube I, I guess people have found it useful as this I think this I haven't checked recently, the 1.6 million views and 6,500 subscribers, something like that. It's not, in terms of YouTube standards, it's, it's <laughs> pretty small. Um, uh, yeah, there, there are uh, channels, of course, with uh, more subscribers than I have views, but um, even so, that's, I think, for the Delphi world, that's, uh, uh, that's not too bad going, and considering I haven't done very much lately, uh, I hope to remedy shortly. So I will see you soon uh, in, on YouTube.